BMW F900X Our Best Motorcycle Review, 8V DOHC Parallel Twin The 2020 BMW F900X R was developed as a defined model in its own right. It's not just the F850 GS dressed up to rival Yamaha's hugely popular Tracer 900, nor is it trying to be a Mini S1000XR. Using a big board F850 engine and the same frame, it's a fabulously composed and usable road bike. Though the engine doesn't always feel desperately fast, it makes up for it with flexibility, efficiency, and just enough character. Handling is light and agile, yet with utter composure and stability, while the effective screen, balanced ergonomics and decent ride quality make distance work a breeze. During 2020 we're running a BMW F900 XRTE on our long-term test fleet to see what it's like to live with. For the latest, click here. Ride quality and brakes. Forks are unadjustable, while the rear shock has rebound and remote preload. It's not glitzy kit, but the shortage of adjusters and gold bits doesn't mean budget, action is good, and the mix of control and comfort is almost cock on. Chassis balance is a highlight, the F900XR can be flicked about easily regardless of speed or surface, yet always with total composure and confidence boosting manners. ESA is optional, rear shock only, but while it allows a sportier setup, the XR feels nicest on the regular settings. There's no shortage of real road braking power and feel from the four-pot Brembos. Engine. It's a big board job on the parallel twin from the F850 GS, displacing 895 cubic centimeters and making 68 pounds-feet of grunt and 105 brake horsepower. It feels free revving and crisp under hard acceleration in first and second, though the sparkle fades in higher ratios, however, the twin makes up for this with roll-on flexibility and accessible thrust of normal riding and the deep rumble from the 270 degrees crank makes it the best-sounding parallel twin BMW to date. Throttle response in rain mode is super smooth, there's a tiny off on step in road mode, but you get used to it within a few miles. Get the riding modes pro option and the extra dynamic mode gives more direct response but brings a snatchy action too. Reliability and build quality. The donor F850 engine, and the F800 before that, are proven and dependable, so we wouldn't expect issues with the 900. Specific power, BHP per cc, is modest and it's not a highly strung unit. Chassis parts are good quality, switchgear and dash R is used across BMW's range, and the level of finish is like you'd get on a spec'd up or 1250GS, costing almost twice as much. Our sole BMW F900XR owner's review gives the bike 4 stars out of 5. Value versus Rivals List price for the base model is dead in line with Rivals, and the F900XR matches them on equipment levels too. There are various accessories, with pre-configured packages offering the best value. BMW residual values are strong too, so it won't depreciate like a Yamaha Tracer 900 or Suzuki V-Strom 1050. Equipment the F900XR boasts an adjustable and effective screen, two riding modes, color TFT dash with oodles of data and phone connectivity, multifunction switchgear, ASC, ABS, full-size grab handles, and LED headlights that are closer to sunlight rather than piercing white, so the surrounding dark doesn't look as black. Options and accessories put the F900XR ahead of alternatives and include everything from luggage, center stand and different seat heights, to heated grips and cornering lights, through to electronic suspension, cruise control, quick shifter, dynamic traction, cornering ABS, keyless ride, hey, it's a BMW. Did you expect anything less?